we are hearing we may have a winner. Tom Foreman there in Washington at the finish line tracking the progress. Do I see? Yes, yes. Do I see? The weary traveler has arrived. <laughs> he even got here in so much time, Brooke. We had time to catch up out in the hallway yep. before he comes in. <laughs> but now, Nick, you get to officially tag in, putting down your burden. Okay. <laughs> There you go. There we have the winner. Good. Look at this. It we have the official good. winner in the whole thing here. Not three hours win. and three minutes. We killed some time out in the hall here. So roughly three hours. You left at noon. How'd it go? I mean, you had some real breaks. No, first of all, let's talk about my sister and my brother colleagues who are still out there. I, I feel <laughs> sorry for them. I, I didn't want to walk in the building until they were coming in too. It, it, I was so lucky that I got on the flight, that the security, there was no one in line. We, we were 10 minutes away from the airport and I didn't think I was gonna get there. I could see the planes and I thought the doors are closing. I ran the length of the hall to get on the flight. I, I couldn't even find my boarding pass. He let me on with just my ID. I, I, I am the luckiest, the luckiest traveler today. The flight arrived early. It was so bumpy in the storms, they couldn't serve coffee. So that coffee that Brian's enjoying. Can I get one now? <laughs> Can I get your one? Coffee. You know where they are right now. Brooke, take a look at this. This is where they are right now. Interestingly enough, Brian Todd driving here. He looked so bad at the beginning because he was creeping out of New York and creeping through New Jersey. But he is now down here moving right along south of Philly, closing in on Baltimore, still some distance. And actually Lisa in the train, which parallels that path, she's the one who's a little bit behind right now. The overall trip, just so to remind you, about 227 miles driving. So if you hadn't made the plane, mm, a lot tighter then, huh? Uh, a lot tighter. In fact, I, I think I'd probably still be here waiting for the next flight. I, I'm not sure that there was another one coming up. Yeah. So very lucky. Very so, lucky. So a winner, Brooke. A winner. There a we go. Ride. The official clapper. Ride. For our esteemed uh, colleague Nick Robertson. But I, 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 am, I am waiting for my colleagues to come home. I'm going to welcome them in with open arms. It was a great race. I was lucky and I feel so sad they're still out there. You were lucky. We were watching you on Twitter, Nick Robertson, and the fact that they let you on that plane. That Upper West Side, it almost killed me. I mean, the, the traffic, 72nd. I don't know these streets, 83rd, 96th, 103rd, <laughs> Amsterdam. Now, I've still got to cross the park, and it, I had 20 minutes to go. Well, even in D.C. here, if you look about, you know this, Brooke, when you get into D.C. here, he actually had to cover the ground from the airport over here across the bridge, up in here, all the way up to the finish line. 